Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe if you would like to get a personal reading. There's a link in the description box below this video. Also, you can become a member of my channel. All the information is down below. All right, you guys, so let's take a look. I already was shuffling and the first card that fell out here is talking. Okay, so there's some kind of conversation that you and or another person I see having at some point this month. Someone's interested, there's convert, converse, more conversation. For some of you, an awaited message arrives. It's a text, a call, an email, and it could be someone's hovering. And also, you have self-indulgence, focusing on self, self-worth, doing some shadow work, some healing, um, self-appreciation, and what else? Okay, cards are just flying out here. And abundance, keeping a positive mindset, manifesting exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. Okay, so yeah, there's definitely an energy starting, well, at this point right now, where um, some of you are starting to or are just really enjoying your life your work you doing that shadow work learning to love yourself just trying to stay positive keeping a positive mindset but i do feel like there will be a message coming in for you there is an energy of someone who is having a hard time letting go of the past somebody is stuck in the past okay which is the Six of Cups reversed, if you didn't already know. This is someone who's living in the past, being very naive, having unrealistic expectations. And even with the Ten of Wands here, I feel like there's an energy of someone here who is really stressed. And that could be someone, whomever is still stuck in the past in regard to your relationship, might be reaching out to you before the month is over by the way if it's your birthday happy birthday to you Virgo all right and let's see what else is going on so yeah somebody here is really feeling trapped feeling very stuck can't stop thinking about you can't let go and in the meantime Virgo it looks like you're manifesting in your life you're doing your own shadow work you're taking this time to heal focusing on yourself so this is good all right let's see and when we say someone's hovering i do feel like there is possibly someone who's going to be reaching out that hasn't let go or hasn't moved on or healed from a past relationship and i do feel like they're going to be at some point this month before the month ends and going into october reaching out okay so i keep saying that let me see oh yeah this is someone's a very chaotic energy knight of wands in the reverse okay so this person's basically all over the place i feel like that reaching out to you is going to be a very impulsive kind of thing it's not someone you know like when you're on you know like when there's this feeling of being under so much pressure like the past is weighing heavily on someone here and being under all this pressure um, you know, the more you put pressure on something, then it just explodes. So I feel like this is not someone who's consciously going to reach out to talk to you. This is more along the lines of someone who is reactive, very reactive, or just feels like they need to talk to you, like they just have to talk to you. Okay, so... Hmm. That's, and I don't feel like it has anything to do with the fact that you are, you know, doing better or anything like that, or that because you're focused on yourself. It's just this person's energy where they, they can't seem to let go. And the pressure is coming down on them. They feel a very strong need to communicate and to talk to you. All right. It's, it's very impulsive. Reach out. All right. Let's see. Okay. <clears throat> this person's been thinking about you, contemplating this Ten of Cups with you, some kind of long-term situation. 
Okay. So Virgo. Yeah. Sorry for the camera angle here. Try to fix it. This, I feel like whoever this person is, it could be a fire sign or sign or water sign thus far, but I feel like the energy of this person is, you know, they might have been very hesitant at some point in the past to try to have this happily ever after thing with you. This is someone who probably thinks too long or too... I, there's a hesitation to invest and I feel like this kind of feels like it's always been the way it perhaps was with this person never fully committing you know always thinking about putting in the effort to try to I feel like any effort they may have put in the past was kind of minimal minimal type of effort from this person um but this impulsive energy has more to do with not them sitting there thinking about whether or not they want to commit or being you know like a happily ever after energy i don't like it because it kind of feels like this person's very doesn't want to let you go but always hesitant to commit if that makes any sense right so them reaching out to you at this point like i said is more so to do with maybe they do feel like you are might be completely gone or may, they might be just the pressure is building up because of the memories they're still stuck in these memories of you and they need to reach out just to see if you're truly gone but i do kind of feel like there's still in this hesitation to go like the distance have that happily ever after with you okay and why hmm they don't know if this is going to be a win-win type of situation right okay let me see here it might also have to do with some legal issues like so this person might not want to get tied up in any kind of prenup or not a prenup but it might not want to get tied up in any kind of legal or tax thing with you very interesting it feels like it has a lot to do with money more than anything because i do feel like they have an emotional connection to you but there's something here to do with legalities finances hmm. they may have thought about a prenup kind of thing or maybe they just didn't even, it didn't occur to them. I'm not sure, but I feel like this person has a hesitation about sharing all of the other things in regards to a relationship. It's not really an emotional decision, or it hasn't always been an emotional decision. It's been more about what's going to happen to my money, or, <laughs> or this person's going to take all my money. It's just... I don't even know what the, what the deal is with that. Um, yeah, I think there was an issue. It seems like about if you guys got together, had some kind of long-term thing or tied each other up in finances, um, that they would lose all their money. So they might be like someone who's very greedy or miserly so to speak, you know, very hesitant about sharing the wealth, so to speak, right? Um, I don't know why they think that. That might just be the way they were raised, you know, as far as relationship goes. But apart from it all, again, I do feel like they're just going to impulsively reach out to you because they can't let you go. Okay. Um... All right, there's the fool. Okay, yeah, very risky kind of behavior. Try to have a reunion with you or try to date you, see if you guys can date. I don't see them coming in with this. It doesn't feel like they're going to reach out and like they've had some kind of an awakening. It feels more like they just don't want to let you go. Very impulsive behavior. All right, let me see here. 
Now you could be dealing with the Libra, Aquarius, Cancer. Okay, so I want to see here. Virgo, if you respond to this person, what actions will they take? Let's just ask, if you respond to this person, what actions will they take? Ooh, the Emperor. So they are going to take this leadership role if you respond to them. And, it, and I'm, they're giving me the words quiet, quiet advancement. That's weird. What does that mean? Or silent, silent directive. Okay, so they're telling me now they're saying the actions this person will take is they will lead but quietly so oh, that's interesting lead leading from behind they're saying i feel like this person could be an aries or another virgo i feel like they have this i don't want to say egotistical but it does give me a sense that this person does view themselves as being like very, I want to say, like fatherly or powerful or someone who's in charge. But they, but it's like a silent, it, it's, they use their power through silence. Okay, so we could take that a lot of different ways, but it feels like they... They influence people by their status and by not saying anything. I kind of feel like this person is someone who tries to control through silence. Okay. I don't know how I feel about that. We've got Taurus energy here. I feel like, Virgo, if you respond to this person, um... I don't know if you know who they are, if this is how they've always been, but I feel like the way they dictate the, the, the direction of the relationship. Not, so if this is how they've always been, nothing's changing here, okay? Um, and they're still going to continue to be that way. And if they haven't been like that before, they're definitely going to be like that, okay? Um, they're going to lead you. I feel like try to lead you in a direction where you would have to or they would try to force you with by a, by some kind of silent way to get you to succumb okay if you if you understand that I don't know if that makes any sense um, I don't really particularly know how if that's I don't know what that is I don't know what to call that they're just tell, they're giving me this description of how their behavior is. Okay, so let me see you, Virgo. This could... So I will say this, okay. This person could be pretty much on the high end of narky kind of traits. I don't know that they're a full-blown, like that they're full-blown like that, but they definitely are on the... the the high end of that where they come across to me here in this reading as someone who dictates so overall i feel like the message is there's going to be a reach out i don't know if you're waiting to hear from this person or not through text call email there is some hoovering going on here where it's more along the lines of don't want to let you go need you to fall back in line in some way don't want you to move on and be happy that's what i'm hearing yeah, so we were looking at you here. There you are. You have the Nine of Pentacles. So definitely not attached to anyone. Doing what you're, you know, being very happy, right? Being content. Uh, Self-content. Living your life in a way where you're self-sufficient. Having financial gains. Enjoying things. Enjoying your life. Let me see here. Oh, okay. Six of 
Oh, sorry, five of pentacles in the reverse. So some of you, maybe you've moved, you have a new job, a new home. Uh, some of you are, you know, kind of getting your hope back, recovering from something. I feel like you're in a really good place, or at least you will be in September. Um, and like I said, I don't feel like this person is going to be reaching out because you're being self-sufficient. I feel like they're reaching out for their own selfish reasons because they're stuck in the past. They can't seem to, like it's a little like an obsession. It's they're like it's exhausting them. And if they just get in contact with you or if you communicate with them, it kind of alleviates some of that pressure for them. And if you stay in contact with them, it just kind of goes back to them sort of dictating, right? So do you, I hope you understand that, you know, like, because there's always this thing, well, once you start doing better and then other person sees it, then they, then they, then they're more interested in you. I don't feel like. I hate to say it like this, and I hope you understand. I don't feel like this is even about you. This is about them. Do you know what I mean? They can't stand the pressure that they feel because they're still, they haven't grown, they haven't moved on or gotten healthy or changed, like healed. They're still stuck on you. Okay. And that is the reason for the reaching out. It's not so much because, oh, the cat got away or you're getting away a little bit, a little bit of that, but it's because they can't, they're having a hard time m m removing themselves from the past. So as long as they kind of have communication with you in some way, it gives, it kind of takes the pressure off them. So it's like, okay, well, Virgo's talking to me. Everything's cool. Now I'm not going to be really stuck in the past because I know Virgo's still there. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of, it feels like it's all about them and their struggle. Okay. I don't know if you can hear my grandson. I think he's like playing Mario or something. <laughs> so yeah, Virgo, you, it, it definitely looks like you're not struggling. I can see that. You're definitely, I mean, even with your finances this month, it looks like things are going to start improving greatly financially. Let's see. What else do you have? Yeah, look at this. I'm telling you. Yeah, look at this. The Wheel of Fortune. Your finances are going to improve drastically this month, okay? If you're saving, you're just not spending as much, or you're putting your money away or you're gaining more money through, you know, maybe, maybe you get in a, like a, a, another job or maybe you already have another job. You come into like a small little fortune for sure. And it seems to me, Virgo, that you're really focusing on your finances. You might more so be focusing um, on your money at the end of September into October. And you, I see you coming into a small little fortune a little bit of money here. So yeah, you're all focused on that, Virgo. <laughs> Nothing here so far. Yeah, it shows me anything in regards to like, oh, you know, let me get a new person in my life, relationships, love or anything like that. Look at it. All this pentacle energy. So you're just being in your element as far as, you know, it looks like you're focused just on money and things that are tangible and real. Okay. You're quite humbled in, well, in some ways. Um, now they're giving me some kind of message here. This feels like it might be a little bit. Of, they're saying something about being ignored and feeling betrayed because you were ignored and becoming very aggressive in regards to somebody's neglect or ending something or something ended or you aggressively ended something because you felt ignored by somebody perhaps this person so when i say ignored maybe they ghosted you or did a slow fade okay so they're telling me They're telling me, if that happened to you, Virgo, don't forget that. 
when it comes to this person. If somebody ghosted you or did the slow fade or just forced you to end a relationship or they ended it eventually um, and the, there was a quickness or a swiftness in the way that that happened, Spirit's saying, don't forget that, right? So there's this old, you know, forgive and forget, right? I think forgive, yeah, so you don't hold on to that BS, but forget about it? No. No, because that's, I don't know, I just kind of feel like even with the star in the reverse, there's an energy, maybe you had some depression um, or you felt ill, uh, maybe some physical or mental illness or you felt like, um, something to do with impotence, um, or a sense of like arrogance, something to do with that kind of energy. Okay. And now it could be the other person that was feeling that way, but we're, we're on you. So it looks to me like something ended because are you ended something or, or a relationship ended because you felt ignored or you didn't feel appreciated and uh, you swiftly ended something here. Um, yeah, I feel like, yeah, the same message. Don't forget about that. And then you went silent. Okay. So your silence is causing another person. All of their, all of the memories and everything in regards to you is coming back up now. Okay. And it's stressing them out. Definitely stressing them out. Right? Memories are suppressed when we're constantly, I feel like in this type of situation here, if you're constantly engaging with one another, you, you don't, like memories, we only think about the past when we're not engaging with the past anymore. So I feel like for this person, um, they're breaking down here and that's why I feel like they're going to impulsively reach out to you. But it looks like you're pretty silent in regards to this relationship. Or with this person and you're keeping your emotions and feelings to yourself maybe sharing with people who are very important to you only but not sharing with this person yeah look you're definitely blocking maybe you block this person can't see anything but you're definitely protecting yourself with the four of pentacles Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, you got your heart broken. Or there was some kind of betrayal or an argument or something happened. But it feels to me like you're really focusing on your career and your money. Um, maybe you are trying to process your feelings or emotions or maybe you're just not dealing with them right now. Um, but I see you going forward here. Um, you're locking up your heart when it comes to this person. All right, King of Wands. So it could have been with a fire sign. Also, we have a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag here. You could also be blocking future uh, romantic relationships, you know, in the next four weeks where a fire sign might show up and <clears throat> you might still be recovering from from you know, a wound. There's a there's a wound, an emotional wound here. All right, let's see the near future. Like going a little bit further after October. I just want to see like an outcome for you and for well, let's look at you. Outcome for you, Virgo. Oh wow. Tower in reverse. Virgo, I feel like it's gonna take some time for you to fully be over some kind of for this emotional wound to heal i do i feel like it's going to be a little bit don't beat yourself up take all the time you need virgo okay take all the time you need you don't like life it's life's a marathon not a sprint there's no rush to do anything um you're definitely going to avoid any kind of disaster situations if you take your time to heal and not rush into anything um I do see a fear of change and I do I feel like it's more because you need to have a sense of security 
and I don't think that's a bad thing. I feel like this is for now, okay? Go in a little bit further, like say a little after October. You're still kind of, I mean, your money looks good, right? And you're getting things done. But I feel like um, your heart, it takes a while, right? There is a thing where the head is always further along than the heart is. The heart always takes a while to catch up. And that's what I feel like the situation here is. Your heart needs time to heal. Okay. And if this, you know, just remember, this isn't for everyone. So if this resonates for you, this is going to be your message. Let's see the outcome for this other person here who's going to be um, messaging you or reaching out because they, they are... They are still interested. They do want to talk to you and get back to talking to you. Let's see. All right. Two of Pentacles, right? So this is an inability to commit struggling and overwhelmed. So, you know, this person... I feel like if this person reaches out to you, Virgo, I feel like the message here with them is... Like, whatever you're able to handle, if you want to talk to them, talk to them. If you don't, if you're just like, nah, just ignore it. Because I don't see this person coming back in, whereas they've thought long and hard about everything. And yeah, I've thought about it all and I've made some changes. I don't know if enough time has passed for a full-on healing or whatever the case may be. I just see them still struggling to commit, you know. Um, they just want you to put you back to relieve their anxiety that they feel, okay, being stuck in the past, right? And, you know, could this person heal later? Sure. And, you know, by that time, will they come back? We'll see how things go. But I just feel like this isn't like the immediate future here where – there's going to be this this time period to stay away especially when they reach out again okay especially especially too if they're dictating how the relationship should be like putting on a shelf right um let me see what your messages of love are here okay your true love is already a part of your life. I know, Virgo. Who's that? You know who that is? That's you. Trust in yourself, Virgo. Make yourself your own best friend. Love your when you love yourself so much, you just don't you just don't take people back who aren't, don't love you as much as you know because sometimes people aren't capable of loving someone because they're not loving themselves they don't love themselves i kind of feel like that's what's playing out here this person and this relationship so i feel like this is all about you give yourself a chance this is what i'm hearing you know if you're in splitsville with someone here you're healing from a broken heart whatever should you give this person another chance i feel like you need to give yourself a chance first you need to give yourself a chance to heal to the point where you can then make a conscious decision that aligns with your heart about what you really need going forward. You know, I don't feel like, like if I told you after everything I just read, this is your true love, they're already a part of your life, you can trust in this, give it another chance, it doesn't resonate with the reading I just gave. That's why I feel like this is mostly about you. Give the relationship with yourself a second chance, okay? Yeah, time apart. Some distance will help bring clarity. Some of you just don't have enough time, long enough time apart from this person. They have to learn that if they're stuck in the past and they are having trouble moving on, they got to deal with themselves and not come to you to soothe their anxiety about the relationship being broken up they need to accept they need to get to a place of acceptance because then they're just holding on due to their anxiety does that make sense virgo so time apart if you've already started time apart keep it going 
if you need that time assess do you need more time to sort things out or to heal you know some of you might be like no i'm good i can talk to them it doesn't affect me either way if they feel like it makes them feel better to talk to me then you know good that's what they need but it doesn't affect me i'm not committing i'm moving on so it really just depends on you specifically you know what you want what you need I do feel like there is distance. I do feel like there is some kind of breakup of some sort because you saw the three of three of swords. Okay. Yeah. But they are obsessed. And we saw that. Stuck in the past, obsessed. Okay. Yeah, this person's in denial. They need to work on their self-care. They do. <laughs> They need to work on like not jumping into other relationships or not going back and forth between relationships because they're avoiding how they feel. Um, they need to like, like sit down and sit with their feelings and deal with their feelings and not use you as like a drug to try to, you know, soothe their, their negative feelings. People will do that. They'll use other people as like a drug. To deal with their emotions because they you know they can't other people kind of take the focus off the feelings right okay interesting let's see what other messages there are here for you virgo okay so you have the ace of pentacles good a windfall of abundance wise counsel or good fortune coming to you you have an exciting career opportunity ahead a lucrative contract there may be significant purchases like a home or vehicle nice next four weeks okay and now you have the page of pentacles it's all about the pentacles with you virgo i swear um you're scholarly, cheerful, dependable, and mischievous. <laughs> it's time to get to work. I know some of Virgos are like, when did I ever stop working? I'm always working. Um, an excellent opportunity will present itself, Virgo. Happy news comes in about your career, promotions, or anything to do with school. And there's a new area of study. I feel like that's the stuff Virgo likes to hear about, right? Okay. And now you have the two of wands. Taking the next steps, Virgo, be bold and make ambitious choices. Partner with others who share your dreams. Expand your plans and continue to move forward. Somebody's birthday is September 12th. We have somebody's initial starts with a P or ends with a P. I mean, yeah, first, last name, letter P. You also have the nine of wands. Protect what you have created, Virgo. Be prepared. Never give up. Ask your angels for help. You might be involved in environmental activism and or animal rights. Or might get involved in that. September 9th. August 29th. September 19th. September 10th. Um, Ten of Wands. Some of you might be working too hard or too many hours. You know, I said the other day, Work smart, not hard, Virgo. You need to find some balance in your life and do that by letting others help you. You might develop some health problems due to stress. So if you've got a day off, shut off the phone, the work, so the work doesn't call you or you don't take on any extra work. Just make your day off about you. I'm here. Somebody is going apple picking. <laughs> apple picking okay somebody thinks you're a 10 out of a 10 virgo so you also have 10 of pentacles financial security for yourself and your family are on the way you might receive an inheritance or decide to retire peace and contentment in life is coming uh honoring family traditions are important pride in your family tree passing on knowledge to the youth okay and anything else here? Wow. No. You have three tens in a row. That's like getting three sevens in the jackpot, right? Ten, ten, ten. This is amazing. That's also one, one, one. So you might be seeing that a lot. You do have a happy marriage in your future and a happily ever after situation. Along with emotional contentment. 
It's a loving relationship with your kids that will develop. Um, you've raised your children wisely and successfully, and you have people around you you can trust. So positive energy there, Virgo. Positive energy. Okay. And you also have the Eight of Cups. There's a need to move on and to seek more from life than what you are experiencing. A bit of a spiritual quest. Choose to make big life changes. A change in your priorities. Some of you are leaving home. Yeah, so there might even be, like I said, um, we have September 8th here. There might even be um, like a new residence. So some of you are moving. All right, let's see what the Chinese signs are of you and this person. You don't have to pay attention to the other person, but we'll see uh, just to kind of give you if it resonates for you. Hold on. I'm going to choose a different deck here. Okay, someone's born year of the pig, year of the dog, year of the rooster, year of the ox, year of the dragon, year of the monkey, year of the rat, and the year of the horse. All right, Virgo. Fantastic. I have no idea how many minutes we're at, which is fine. Let me just get some of your cosmic insights and see what else is showing up here. Okay. So you've got cycles, fate, karma, something ending, something beginning here, Virgo. Definitely, there's a cycle that's happening here. Out with the old, in with the new. New beginnings. Something's ending and something new is beginning, whether it's within you or just in life in general. Okay, Mercury retrograde. So that was very significant for some of you. Mercury, Mercury. Mercury retrograde. There was a lot of things that I feel like you went and reviewed and or things came up that caused you to review a lot of stuff. Maybe in regards to this scenario here or just in your life in general. Thank God we're out of that because I feel like Mercury Retrograde really took a toll on Virgo. Um, but yeah, I feel like don't forget the lessons that you learned, especially if people came back or you were having, there was issues with communication. Things were revealed to you during the Mercury Retrograde that I feel like you are now beginning to move forward with. Whatever these things were revealed to you. All right, for some of you, it was a breakup, right? Mercury retrogrades don't often bring breakups. They usually bring people that come back. But there was some kind of, um, something happened. You can leave me a comment below in the description, like below in the comments. If something happened to you during the retrograde that maybe was connected to a divorce or a breakup, leave me a comment. And if you want to share uh, what exactly happened, or there was some kind of miscommunication or something happened that revealed a lot to you, Virgo, that you were like, oh, okay, well, uh, I'm going to have to take a second look at this because this isn't working. Something happened. Good news is that luck is on your side, though, Virgo, so keep moving forward. Don't quit. Don't drive with looking in the rearview mirror, Virgo, because I don't feel like that's you're going to crash and burn. Keep looking forward. Okay, something here to do with a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Could be meeting a water sign very soon as well. This relationship here could have some kind of breakup of the water sign. Okay, yeah, your intuition. The red flags you ignore will come back to bite you later. So pay attention to the red flags and also pay attention to green flags. Okay, and for some of you, this could, your intuition might be um, telling you something also about a fire sign. So you need to pay attention. Whatever your, don't doubt yourself, whatever you're feeling, that you like your, your body screaming or it's a silent kind of voice that's speaking to you in regards to a, a fire sign and perhaps some red flags, pay attention to that. Don't discount whatever's coming to you in regards to a fire sign. I don't know exactly what it is. But I feel like you're feeling something. Trust it. All right, let's see. Okay, you're receiving a material gift is coming to you. So there might be something for your birthday. 
Um, it could also be if you've already had a birthday, there's something that's delayed. It is coming in. It could be money or anything of value, material value. Receiving a material gift. And you also have take a risk. Your message here is take a risk. What do you have to lose? Starting over can be tough, but it's time to spread your wings. Don't overthink things, Virgo. Just do it. Yep, don't overthink it because you'll think yourself into a rabbit hole and then you'll never act. Uh, a risk, risks don't. <laughs> risks are risks. What do you have to lose? Okay. And you also have, you can do this. You have the courage and strength to withstand the situation that you're in right now, Virgo. Start by soothing this beast. Practice kindness. It's your best attribute, Virgo. You can fight back. But do it by not fighting. Hold steady, Virgo. You are a winner. Sometimes the best way to fight is to not fight at all. <laughs> the art of fighting <laughs> is walking away. Sometimes that's the best way to fight. Okay. So there is some spying and deception happening surrounding you, Virgo, at this time. Somebody might be spying on you as well. And you also have, look at something differently. Hmm. Okay, Virgo. Sometimes you have to let go of old notions. Even though you may feel stuck, it's really just an illusion, Virgo. Try seeing a situation from a different perspective. There's a silver lining to everything. A slight change in your view will make your predicament easier. Okay. Um, hmm. So there's something here I feel like you need to take a look at from a different point of view. I don't know exactly what that means, but if you're locked in to a certain way, like a thought process or a certain belief system, they're saying step out of the box a little bit and see something a little differently here. Okay, so let's see. What do we have here? September 2nd. So we've got Capricorn, Aquarius, Libra, Capricorn again. Sorry if it's so loud. Scorpio, Virgo, Capricorn, and Pisces. Okay, significant signs. All right, 1969, 1986. We have 48, 39, 37, 79, 89, 61, September 11th, 60, 53, 45, 74, 30, August 30th, uh, September 21st, September 15th, okay, so July was a very significant month for someone, could be somebody's birthday, also February, we also have September 1st, and someone is 31, I'm hearing Angela, the name Angela or Angie or someone says Ange. Hey, Ange. Tequila. They're giving me tequila. Somebody plays golf. Um, somebody's joining a gang. <laughs> um, somebody's in the military. Somebody's having GI issues. My God, the messages are coming so fast. Um, somebody's getting their car towed or just did. <laughs> My gosh, they're coming so fast. Um, somebody likes two wang two wang. Wait a minute. Is is it Wang Chun? Or wasn't there a, is that a group? I don't know if it's two two live crew? What the hell? <laughs> two live crew? Oh, me so funny. Oh, oh me so oh my god, kill me now. Okay. <laughs> do, do you remember that? Does anybody, seriously, do you remember that? That video, or that song? <laughs> Me love you, long time. Okay, somebody thinks you're a cutie, Virgo. Someone's in uh, Overeaters Anonymous, or has joined a group, um, or some kind of like eating group, or something to do with food, or exercise, or something like that, um, because they feel like they've gained. Somebody's gained. Like, like, did I, I'm gaining weight, I got lose weight, something like that. I'm hearing, um, Okay, some kind of connection to a swan or swans. Okay. Someone's name is Owen. I just heard Owen. Okay. Um, 
somebody's watching Na NASA, or watching a video, or just part of NASA, the something NASA. Somebody watches OAN Network. Okay, so many messages are coming in so fast. I can't even with this. That was really fast. Um, somebody needs to take a look at their awnings on their house. There's something to do with your awnings or an awning. I don't know. Maybe it's leaking or it's going to fall. Go check it. <laughs> maybe your mom's house, your parents' house or something. Okay, somebody's going to be getting an early snow. I just heard early snow. So, all right. That's craziness. Well, not really. I guess depending on where you live in the world, some people, like, you could just be getting snow right now, okay? Um, somebody's getting owned. They just said owned. I don't know what that means. Somebody's getting owned. Okay. Okay, somebody's getting owned. All right, let's just check out your charms and see. I'm just going to pull a couple of charms here. There's always a key, isn't there? Okay. So we have a yin-yang and a lotus flower. So there's a connection to a yin-yang and uh, the yin-yang symbol and the and the lotus flower symbol. Okay. Somebody's doing something with a pair of scissors. Maybe there's a hairdresser or cutting hair. Somebody's cutting hair. Someone's going to see, you might see a feather, a lone feather somewhere. Lone feather. Pay attention to that. That's a sign um, that you're being watched over. Yeah, somebody could be a hairdresser or a barber or cutting, doing something with scissors. So you also have like, um, I don't know, is it gecko? Maybe you're doing something with your insurance, like a gecko. Um, this could also be a pet, some kind of like amphibious pet. Um, it does represent Aries as well. And now I'm also hearing skeleton key. So skeleton key yeah there's something here to do with a key okay um now somebody might be thinking about their halloween costume already or helping or some connection to halloween maybe decorating something to do with skeletons i'm hearing and also you have a candy cane so somebody's name could be candy um or there's something with peppermint so especially if you're having gi issues get some peppermints helps a lot with that Peppermint's a great natural remedy healer. Um, there's also some connection to Christmas. Somebody has a connection to Christmas. It's significant for someone. I know a lot of people have connection to Christmas, but something significant about the Christmas holidays coming up. Maybe you're already starting your shopping. Maybe you've finished, or maybe you're going to start thinking about it. Um, somebody's address is 211, uh, phone number 3015-6074. Three nine four five six nine eight nine five three three zero. Okay, I just said to tell you that. Now, if you didn't hear those numbers, just scrub back a little bit. You can switch them up if your phone numbers are in there. That's a message for you. All right, you guys. So I'm done with the reading. I hope I think that was a little bit longer than normal. I'm hoping I didn't get to see the time, but um, yeah. So don't forget if you want to become a member of my channel, go ahead and sign up, and you know, you can get the. Um, I think tomorrow I'm going to upload the members only reading. So definitely go check that out um, if you are already a VIP member, or you can just become like a regular member where. You know, it's just $2.99 per month, but you get to um, get cool badges and you get the shout outs and all that cool stuff. Um, let me see if anybody signed up for the recent membership. Let's just take a look. I know some of you keep signing up and then re signing up. DC Limitless, welcome. Leslie Mayfield and Joanne Carvalho rejoined. Pauline rejoined. Welcome, welcome. Alyssa Trujillo and Blackfoot Tribal, right? I said you guys yesterday. Marvin Tyler. Thank you, everyone. So far, we have about um, like 100 members already. So this is awesome. Keep it up. Keep it going. If you're already a loyal member where you pay the $2.99 per month, you can upgrade to the $9.99. Um, to get the bonus content. So definitely check that out. I am going to be adding more stuff to the members only streams where I'll be going live and stuff. I'm just trying to get my schedule organized with that. I don't want to commit to something and then not be able to fulfill that. So 
just stay po stay stay aware virgo stay aware all right you guys so i will see you all back here tomorrow i hope you have a great night thank you to the mods for being here jason melly persephone charity steve o steve b you guys are super super awesome um i greatly appreciate it and i will see you all back here tomorrow bye i just can't let you go lord knows that i've tried to you said i was the only one no one likes being like to you made this mess and left me with the pieces